Hey you guys, good morning. It is like September 17th-ish and we are headed to groom a Yorkie. Now the Yorkie was just purchased from a breeder a few days ago and they got into town and got the vaccinations done and called around for a groomer. The place that they were going where they went to get the vaccinations used to have a groomer and now they don't. So they were up in the wind which is sad because I've, I've reached out to that company a lot over the years, but they always had that, we don't need you kind of, right? We don't need you because we'd have a, we have a groomer. So I heard that like for over a year now, they haven't had a groomer. So all, I, I would, uh, no, actually I never, I would be in touch, but I always got that vibe, right? And so I was like, okay, you know. So I always say, keep your mind open. If you're running a veterinarian clinic, keep your mind open because things will change, people change and systems, ideas, patterns, all that changes. So you always have to keep your mind open. You don't have to be like, I don't want that. You could be like, I don't want that, but give me your card so I can have it. <laughs> so I can put this on the back burner in case one day something happens. Anyways, they don't have a groomer anymore. So the clients got their vaccinations done and started calling around. It would have been great if that veterinarian could have said, you know, I know these three groomers call one of them. This is how, this is what I know about them. But they didn't. They didn't have any referrals or anything. So if you're out there and you're a groomer, make sure you have some veterinarian referrals, some emergency contact referrals, any kind of referral so you can send people in the right direction when you can't help them. Okay? That's my opinion. And what I would do, if you're standing in front of me and you want the best place to buy a car, I know where to send you. I bought several cars there. You know what I mean? Where they'll take care of you. Have that referral and that name. That's called networking. That's called having friends in all places, uh, whether it's plumbing, tile, which I need right now. Um, you know what I mean? Have all that, okay? So this, this little dog, I'm actually, I have done some things <clears throat> to make it so I can groom the dog. And this is why. So the client was uh, believable, and it's not that I did not believe the client. I just extend my research. So a client calls me and says they are, I've got, I've got a splinter, it's been in there a few days, I think. I can't, oh, oh my goodness, there it is. Look, it's been in there like a few days because I've been able to feel it. Do you see this? Oh my gosh, man. I gotta go pull it out. How does a splinter, how does a splinter stay in there for like days? And, and I, I would do this and I couldn't see it, but right now it was just prevalent, it was there. How does it even do that? And I haven't, oh, it's like I need to wear gloves constantly. I've been wearing gloves during grooming and they still, they're gonna make their way somehow, even if you're brushing, I suppose. Anyhow, so we are headed over to Lucy's house and let me tell you why. This is not something I normally do, okay? There are these at-home groomers, they're Craigslist groomers. I posted ads on Craigslist. I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying they're out there. <clears throat> Craigslist groomers offer up Facebook, all these different groomers that are doing it like in your home. They'll pop up a table in your home, out maybe out on your patio. Um, it is what it is, it's happening. I see it happening. You can research it, you can see it happening yourself. So the I don't do that anymore, I feel like the the safety factor is important to me, which means going into strangers' home that I don't even know uh, from Craigslist is probably not what I want to do. So I don't do that anymore. It took one weird call for me to wake up. It was that phone call. I didn't go, but I was like, well, I'm not doing that anymore. If, I, if you didn't get my number from a referral of someone you knew or a veterinarian you knew, you know what I mean? I was not making a house call. And I did house calls while I looked for my first store. So it wasn't like I wanted to do house calls. It was like, this is what I want to do with house calls until I've gotten my store. So it was a stepping stone for me. But yesterday when this client called me, they had called and I want to say they did not leave a voicemail so I called them back which I don't always have time to do and said hey I missed your call we talked a little bit about their issues and what they needed and they just rescued the they excuse me they just bought this dog from a breeder 
they went far it sounded like to pick the dog up and they be, they're gonna live with this dog so they want this dog cleaned up and it's a pup well no it's not a puppy it's like shy of a year and seven pounds so they said the wife went to this veterinarian got the vaccinations done and they didn't have a groomer so now they're on hunt for a groomer they really need the dog cleaned up like pretty fast and I said well I'm really booked out too I'm actually making a going out of my way to make this happen for them because I can imagine you rescue a dog or you buy a dog you get that dog home and you definitely want the dog cleaned up before you sleep with the dog you know what I mean so we chit chatted for a while I asked him about Bordetella rabies and DHPP that's what I require in my business you can figure out what you want to do on your business okay if you're learning from here hit the donation go down contribute just say thanks Dee, Dee you've taught me a lot thanks for your time your education I know you're just giving it away for to me right now so contribute to the channel or become a member that helps me stay here for you because remember I tell you everything doesn't last right so if you need okay so they they went and got those vaccinations and I believed them I mean they were like we just went down right now we are we're vaccinated so before I got off the phone, I gave them some options and some prices. And then I said, and some times. And I said, okay, this and that, they, they might call me back and try to get in, because I actually was gonna try to fit them in today. And I decided, because I was on my way out, it's almost 5 p.m., okay, I was, I'm wrapping everything up, and I thought, if they call me, and there's any question about vaccinations, at least I know I went ahead and called the vet. So I called their vet, I took what little information I had already gotten, and I said, hey, I've got this kind of dog, He came in. they came in today, this and that, this and that. We figured out who it was, so we thought, and, I, and we were right, and they let me know that the Bordetella and the rabies were good to go, but they were on the first series of DHPP. And in my opinion, I'm not a vet tech, I'm not a veterinarian. If you have questions regarding that, call your veterinarian and find out. Don't ask me, I'm just going to share with you what I think and what my opinions are and what I feel I want to do in my business, okay? This is my business. So I want to make some choices based off of my clientele, my business, and the dogs that come into my care. And why is that important? Because I really am passionate about making sure my, my clients' dogs don't get fleas from each other they don't get sick from each other. That when I groom a senior dog, I'm not wondering if I have Parvo running around my salon that could be dormant for five years. And I, I'm very careful about, and I'm listening, because I don't want to get sick myself, let alone a dog get another dog sick in any way, shape, or form. And nothing is 100%, so everything I'm doing is just what I can do, right? I know, it sounds like a bit much. It sounds like a bit more than what most people think about, and you're right, it is. So every client out there is not my client, right? Because everyone doesn't worry about all those kinds of things. David probably would not even worry about fleas. He would just groom the dog, this and that. I worked at PetSmart, we did not worry, not that we didn't do flea shampoo, okay? But we would take everyone in, it didn't matter. It's not like we saw fleas and sent them home, that wasn't happening. Do you think fleas can pe be passed around? Absolutely, you're blow drying a husky for an hour. What do you think? So I do things a little different because I want to. And then there's enough business in this world for every kind of business. You want someone fast, you want someone cheap, you want someone that's expensive, you want someone that is expensive and like million dollar home expensive, okay? They're out there, including in the groomer world. So you have to pick and choose what you're looking for and you can look for anything you want to look for and it's okay but when I heard that she had only gotten what her, her first series of three DHPP my red flags went up Doo -doo -doo, you know woo. so the lady I spoke to on the phone was really cool like we were chopping it up and uh, I was like hey so you, you know, we talked about not having a groomer. We talked about what I do so that she could send referrals and I would give them a referral kickback. Um, that's what we do in the real estate. So why am I not doing that in grooming? I have been doing that. I'm one of the only groomers I can tell you that I know of that says, hey, thanks a lot. Can I buy you a blade? Do you, what do you, can I buy you something for that referral? Can I send, can, um, 
Chrissy's pamper paws. I always told her if she sent me some referrals, I'd be like, hey, swing by, I'll give you something. I'll give you something you could use. Um, there's people I've written checks for. I, I love giving back to people who take care of me. And don't think for a minute you shouldn't do it either. I mean, why not? It makes people feel so good about, man, she took care of me, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Like, when you watch the mafia movies, <laughs> they'll be taking care of each other, you know? Okay, I like mafia movies, but that's not what I'm trying to say, run, run your business like that. But you know what I mean, right? So, first set of DHPP. DHPP, as a groomer, this is what I say, right? It's going to help with your, it's DHPP for distemper parvo. So this is protecting your dog from maybe getting parvo, okay? And if you've only gotten your first series and you have to get a series of three, um, you're really taking a chance, a risk there in grooming that pet in your facility. I know a, a veterinarian clinic not very far from here that shut down for over a month because they had a parvo problem. Parvo can kill your dog. And you all know, I don't have to say, I've heard your stories, especially young puppies, young dogs. And this dog happens to be young. Not a puppy, but less than one year. He said like 10 months or something like that. Almost a year, he said. So I said, I really want to help you. I said, and he goes, well, where else do you think I could go? So right then I was like, nowhere. <laughs> I was like, nowhere, because no one is probably acting like me. Because I don't want to see your dog go downhill, you know? And sometimes with Parvo, when you get a new puppy in your home, how many of you this happened to? You didn't know it had Parvo until like maybe a week later, two weeks later, eight days later, the puppy, I mean, the small puppy is vomiting, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea. All these things are happening. You're like, the dog was real tired all the time, sleepy, things like that. I've heard those stories. And I have to say, you never know when you have Parvo, you know, until it's like, boom, here's here. And then guess what? It's in your environment. And if you have other dogs, boom, you know, they don't have other dogs. So we're good on that. But these are all serious things to consider if you're running a business with animals, right? right. I'm like, I hope I'm recording. Okay. So I'm ha I've decided to help them in a different way than I have in a long time, which is I'm just going to roll up in their house and we're, I'm going to prop on my table and we're going to do a quick groom and they're going to bathe their own pet. I'm only doing this to buy them time to get those other two DHPP shots. And then he's gonna be in for grooming here at the salon. So our, cause I know he just got this dog, right? Him and his wife. I know they just got this pet and you want that pet clean and everything. So I, I was like, if there's any mats or knots or anything, do not just bathe that dog. So we're gonna go there. He's gonna let me record. And I'm gonna record just a quick cleanup. That's all I'm recording. I'm recording me going out of my way to their home, setting up real fast and doing this quick cleanup, no bathing. I'm gonna let that, this dog is a Yorkie. Is she, she should be small enough for them to handle a bath on, okay? And he even said, we're probably not gonna come in all the time. We're gonna maintain at home. So right there, I already know that this is like once every three or four months probably, if that. So we'll see how it goes. You remember that one little mini Yorkie that I groomed? She comes once or twice a year. Some of the, sometimes you're able to do these um, maintenance at home and not have to go into a groomer very often. So it's just up to what you're trying to do with the haircutting and maintenance. If you can get the eyes cleaned out, if you can get the hiney cleaned out, things like that, right? So I wanted to give you an idea of how my mind thinks when it comes to vaccinations. One of the things that was discussed over the phone with that really awesome, she's either vet tech or receptionist. And she was a receptionist at that moment, so I'm gonna just go with receptionist. So she let me know everything, and I said, Look, I said, you, I've worked at veterinarians, I've worked alongside veterinarians a long time, okay? Not just a month, not just a year, a long time. And so when she said, Oh, that's this first series of DHPP, and I said, So a series of three, she said, Yes. I said, Why? because it's a dog that's almost one year old. You went ahead and did a rabies. <clears throat> she said, yeah, they brought in the breeders documents, which is just handwriting. Some breeders actually take their dogs to veterinarians and have that paperwork like a invoice and when things are due. 
Some people don't. They just have a printout or a piece of paper or a little records book with the vax. Um, you know, you can't chance it. So you, the, even this veterinarian said, we just don't, we don't accept that kind of handwritten records as documentation that these things were done. Because anybody can write, right? Anybody can write stuff down. Like, I did this today and not do it. And that's how, you know, things can get really upside down. Because you're going to believe it maybe. Because it looks right. But it's not, it may not be right. So you have this veterinarian that said, oh, none of that breeder documents mean nothing to us. We have to start over. So since your dog is almost one year old, we went ahead and did a Bordetella. They did a rabies. And they did a first series of DHPP, which they need to do three. So now I said to her, if I said, I said, oh, and so did she. She was like, yeah. You know, we're both like right there. We're both right there going, oh. And I said, man, you know, I can't, I said, they're going to be upset. I, I can't have them come into the salon, right? And I said, look, I really wanted to help, okay? But I didn't want to sacrifice standards. So I said, look, what do you think? I said, what do you think? She goes, yeah. She wouldn't answer yes or no. And I said, honestly, I said, what if you came in, you were bringing your dog to me after I groomed that dog in my facility? What, would you do it or not? And I said, you, I said, your answer is no. You don't want your dog groomed after that dog just in case that dog had parvo. She goes, yep, that's, that's true. And I said, but not everyone knows that. I know that because I work in this industry. So I'm thinking, hmm, interesting. Do you know how many dogs right now are being groomed by people back to back to back to back to back that don't even check vaccinations? That literally take the word over the phone? A lot. And if you are having your dog groomed in that situation where they did not even ask you about vaccinations, you've been pretty lucky. If you've gotten fleas, if you've gotten parvo, you can comment down below if your pets have gotten any of these things during a situation like that where they didn't ask you about vaccinations. They didn't care about vaccinations. They didn't even call your veterinarian to verify. So in my world, I did that for a while. I would actually trust my clients. And I don't know, something happened where I, I was like, hmm. <clears throat> because I, I, got, I get a lot of business. I used to get a lot of business and I built my business off of referrals. My first salon was not somewhere you would drive by and even know I was there. Do you understand? So I already was running my business completely different. I had all these full-time jobs and I would groom in the evenings and, and the weekends. So I would groom in the evenings and weekends by referrals. So these, these clients I knew from their veterinarian. So they should have their vaccinations. <clears throat> but at some point you're in business for 10 years and those clients have you know passed on or they've changed veterinarians or they've gotten older. And so one day I just, when I moved, like kind of moving and everything, I said, we are going to change our record system. This is talking to myself. We're going to change our record system. I want everything documented. I want to know who their veterinarian is. I want to know the vaccinations when they're due. And I want it written down. And then I started a different system. Now, if you want coaching on that kind of stuff, you need to email me or you need to book it at myfavoritegroomer.com under the business section. Book a coaching class about your business. You're in it to make money. You should invest in your business, invest in the education, invest in the ways to do your business documentation, invest in making money, right? So I started asking my clients to bring in their documents or tell me who their veterinarian so I could call. And do you know, I found out that almost a hundred percent of them did not have vaccinations. I was so let down. I was just so let down. I could not believe it. I woke up thinking, are you kidding me? All these people, I've been grooming their dogs and what? You haven't gotten rabies in two years? Oh my goodness. Everything changed. So at least five years now or more, um, I can't think back to the exact time, I have made it a point to call the veterinarian. And I have it in my phone under their name, the dates the earliest vaccinations do. So when someone that's not on schedule reaches out to me and says, hey, I need an appointment. The first thing I do is to see in my notes if their first vaccination due, because some of them are due in one year, two years, three years, uh, their first vaccinations due is actually up to date. And if it's not, I may not know it, know it right there at, at my dinner table, but I do say you're not up to date on vaccinations. Check with your veterinarian and get back to me when you're ready. 
and then we put it upon them. But that's what little I can do to protect the dogs coming into my facility. And I challenge you to do the same thing. If you need someone like me to come in, step in, and really ravel up your business and change it up and help you with it, I would do something like that. It would be costly, but effective. So let me know if that is something that interests you. So here we go. I should totally put this into two videos because I've talked a lot about some serious things. Now, we're headed to Lucy's house. We'll be back with a Yorkie groom and I cannot wait to show you. I hope it ends up being really cute. We're just doing a little something something, nothing big, just to hold us over until those two DHPP shots are over. All right, that's the importance of DHPP shots. If you need your Yorkie tools, if you need anything for grooming, check out myfavoritegroomer.com. All right, we'll see you later. Oh my goodness, who do we have here? Oh, you need, you're a mess. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> you are a mess, look at you. Are you Lucy? Yeah. Hi, do you know what we're doing? Did he tell you? No. <laughs> All right, so we got Lucy here, and Dad is actually going to open up that picture for me again because it's going to close itself. Okay, come here, Luce. Here we go. I'm going to put Lucy here. We, yeah, thanks. I need to look at that. So we are in Dad's house right now, and just to be on the safe side with that DHPP story I told you guys about. Um, can we, so this is what we're going to try to get at here, okay? And you can see her, her face actually is already cut really short. So that's, this is not even, I wouldn't even touch yeah, that. Yeah. It wouldn't even make sense. So it looks like we want, to, they're still kind of flurry here. We're going to edge those up. And the coloring is darker here than on the picture. And this is blonder on the picture here. Some of those things you can't change. I can't change those things. But I get an idea of what we're trying to do. Body-wise, it doesn't look like we even need to take off a lot, but we do need to get her cleaned up enough to where she can have a bath. Okay. So let's get our before picture here. Luz, Luz, are you worried? Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Is this new to you? Okay. Yeah, I don't think she's ever been. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Let me check your teeth. She's about one year old. Yeah. Almost one, right? Mm hmm She should not have any puppy teeth left. Okay. So that's what we're looking for here. While you're here. Good. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to take this collar off here. I'm going to do a little bit of leave-in conditioner. And I'm actually got all my tools kind of all over the place. I should bring two tables. Remind myself, two tables, Dee Dee. Get my brush out here. We're gonna brush her out first. Here. Oh, and I forgot. I did forget my mini. I knew I was gonna forget. Forgot that. what? I have a little mini stand that goes under her. It helps oh, her stand okay. up. Oh, That's fine. I got something that might work for that. Nah, we're good. We're good. I got it. That key it holds your lap. It holds your. That's funny because I, I invented the dog up mini, so you put it under the dog, so it's oh, pretty that's cool. A good idea. Yeah, it's really us. I knew I was gonna need it. But she's not she's fine. She's not totally sitting and stuff like that. So we're gonna come through. The reason why I'm brushing her out is if, like I told you over the phone, if we've got any knots, you don't want to bathe the pet with knots, right? So we don't know if she has knots over the phone, you never know what you might be working yeah, with. Sure. But you come through, you check with your comb, do we have knots? how much work do I need to do? So we're gonna brush it all out first. Well, they had some little tiny three week old puppies. And, uh, but my wife really kind of wanted one that would be really? a housebreak. Okay, so she's housebroken already? Sort of, yeah, okay. we, we haven't had any problems. Okay. And we take her outside a, a lot. Okay. I read where they can stay for about after their three months. If you can add an hour per month to their to their whole week time, up to eight hours. Wow, you read that? Yeah. Or the breeder has it on their no, side. No, no, no. In general, uh -huh. for Yorkies. Yeah. Or Yorkies. Aunt, or dogs. Yes, I looked up under Yorkies. Okay. 
spend a lot of time on YouTube at night. <laughs> really? Beats dancing with the stars. <laughs> I know. How dare them take off my Paradise Beach Bachelor last night, man, for Paradise. <laughs> oh, gosh. They did what now? So there's a show, Bachelor on Paradise. There's a lot of drama. You yeah. know, they're on a beach, and they already went through the Bachelor process or Bachelorette process and didn't get picked up. Do you know what I'm talking about, The Bachelor? Uh-uh. Oh, my gosh. I it's a, I, I, so it's reality TV. It's like, I don't know why I'm drawn to it. It's fun to watch, maybe because I think it would be so cool, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you find you're a bachelor and you're there to find your wife, kind of thing, or okay. the vice versa, bachelorette, right? All right. So I've been watching well, it. I've seen the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. last night was supposed to be the finale, but they had the Dancing with the Stars come out. Oh. So everybody that's waiting for the Bachelor's finale, you know, it's tonight, not last night. Oh. So they got us to watch Dancing with the Stars, and I was like, oh no. I, I watched watch, it for a minute she, and I was she, like, this is not my game. She watches it, and I, I sit over there in my chair. Mama me. watches it? Yeah. I, I, I've got my little YouTube going. So we're looking really soft here. This is nice. I like this. So we don't need to take a lot of off here. This is what I was anticipating. So it really made sense. <laughs> it's making sense. And look how amazing she's doing for this groom. So I think the breeder must have been doing some stuff, brushing and stuff. Otherwise, I don't think she'd be this I, this tame. I, I, I think I think the breeder really tries hard. She's from uh, Jacksboro, Texas. Okay. And uh, a friend of ours had bought her. Uh, brother and so we we had a, we tried a rescue dog and it was a, a little whiskey and the lady brought it over and uh, it just it just was so aggressive you, you know that uh, that's a strong breed right there though yeah that's a that's a strong breed right there you know what I mean but it was aggressive and like what happened well I, I can't I, it, its name was miles but we had miles to go. <laughs> it's a play on words. <laughs> but he was, and they told us, whatever you do, don't make eye contact. Well, okay, the day you met him? Yeah. Or in general? Well, I mean, with that, with the rescue, if they knew him really well, you know, yeah. that's a bad lighting there, isn't it? I'm right. thinking, I'm going to have to pet it like, kind of like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he says, he's petting him behind him. Stay there for me. Let me move this off, offset a little bit here so I can kind of see. Okay. You're doing so good. Yeah, you got some eye boogers in there. That our friend that bought it, her, uh, her brother, uh, he's been very happy. And With the pet? Uh-huh. And they both live in Jack's room and they the lady to babysit for her. Please come, you need this. And then you can get this wet too. I so bought the crate. She hasn't been crate trained at all yet. Right. I showed it to her yesterday and she wasn't really excited about no. it. I'm going to give you some tips when we get done then. All right. Okay. So as we start, get, I'm talking to you, Dad. As we start to work this face, the face, is, the face is real short compared to that picture. Oh, yeah. So we have to grow that out. Okay. Okay. As it's growing out, have mom definitely keep it not matted up because of food and treats and okay. stuff, okay? Oh, look at you now, girl. <laughs> yeah, we're having too much fun here. Okay. See how the hair is different than that picture? Oh, yeah. The hair is different. It's not up, up. It kind of is heavy going back. So we'll just see. Well, she's here. got the ability to raise her ears up, you know, which is they said kind of special. Okay. I don't know if it is or isn't. I feel like character comes out in the ears. So when the, especially when we take off a little bit of hair, you probably see a little bit of character come out. Go this way. We're going to take off minimal based off that picture. I'm going to come in here and do this inverted V. Okay, you can take your thinning shears if you have those. I don't like to use those very often, so I don't have them with me. But you could take your thinning shears if you need to do that. We're going to do inverted V there. See how we bead that out. 
I'm going to curve this around here so the eyes are cleared out. I'm going to get this feet cut. It's going to help me a little bit here. get anything going in the mouth here. This is pretty good. It's all out of the mouth. Do these dogs swim, do you know? Some. Every dog's different. Some of them, she's so good on the table. This is amazing. Oh, that's good. I brought a couple different tools. I brought my Anna's five speed because I think you said she wouldn't come in very often. Is that what I heard? Yeah. And then I also brought which I don't re recommend for a lot of groomers unless they just do around the face and stuff, but you guys could probably get away with using something like this if you ended up getting a tool that's going to last for a lifetime. Yeah. So you're going to be able to do a few different things with this, and let me just show you, right? Okay. Um, so this is a cordless. If you were going to shave this body and it was really, really thick hair, I probably wouldn't love this product, okay? This one. Mm -hmm. But I brought it along just to see if it's something you wanted to ever buy and carry and have if you don't see me very often okay so this you'll have different blades it's a five in one so you're going to be able to go like this is um <clears throat> leaving the hair the longest okay okay this is taking all of the hair off okay see how short it is yes. i'm taking that short now i'm gonna leave more teeth to leave the hair longer, longer. Uh -huh. now i wouldn't be using this all over her body unless you wanted severe military summer cut. Okay. Kind of like even yeah, shorter than yeah. this. Okay? But I am going to use this. It's your mom. Hello? Careful what you say. Just just, just fine. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're trimming. We're just now getting to trimming. Hi, Mama. Uh, we're having fun, girl. Uh, she, you're Don't worry. Fine. He's behaving. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, bye. So you, if you were to get something like this, right here is the midway, mm -hmm. and I would be able to do that right here on her face. Right, I'm sorry, is that you? Right here, boom, boom, like this. Okay. Right here, get that eye booger area out, right? I've already done it. Okay. So that's an area that you could do that, okay? Yeah. H hang, on, hang on with me. So down in here, um, I'm gonna watch her head in case she doesn't like something. But here, same way, midway, you can come in here and just clean up her sanitary. All this under okay. here. All up under the tail. Okay. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. Because let's just say you're skipping seeing me okay. or any groomer. Then you come in here and you want to clean up. You watch the tail here, obviously. But this is where she's peeing, so you want to clean all that up. Okay. Real simple, right? Yeah. But you can see it's powerful. It's doing the job. Yeah. It's not like not yes. working for you. Yeah. Okay? If you buy the right tools, they're not going to be super cheap, but you're not going to replace it next year either or in five to six months. So just kind of wanted to show you that. That's a wall. Okay. Yeah. That is a wall, Bravura. And then I have an Andis 5-speed, which I don't think you need this. If you ever wanted to upgrade, we can talk about it. This is uh, more expensive than that one, and I'd have to look up the prices, but this is like what a groomer should have. Okay, I recommend this one for a groomer. So here, same thing with that one. You can do the same thing here. This is like the midway. Which I'm gonna come in here and just take off this tummy. So when she lays down on a hot day, she yeah. can feel that tile, okay? Okay. You can have a seat. Okay, now we're Hello? gonna come through and do her ears here a little bit. Oh. I don't wanna tip them, tip them, because the picture didn't show that they were really, 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 really heavily tipped. I'm just going to tip a little bit here, okay? Right here. Come here. Looks like she's still got her puppy hair. You know what I mean? Okay. Remember, this is a quick one, but... Spending a little bit more time on real things. But the mini would be so handy right now, just to give her a little bit of that support. We're going to come in here with the 40 blade. You can also do that with the Bravura. Okay. 
Gracias. So on that Westie, can you tell me, did you borrow the pet for a while and then say, no. hey, come pick, or no. you didn't even get past the meeting stage? No, we, we, we uh, she kept growling in that tub, so we had to put her in a, in a. a There's too much for you right there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the, the thing is, it don't let children get in its face. Okay. So Do you have any grandkids? Or? I have six. Six grandkids? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I can see where this is going already. Uh, yeah. And. The, 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 the youngest ones are twins and they're eight and, and uh, that's the first thing they did was you know and then they have an 11 get in their face I mean they're good that's doggy right she just handled it well she just did good oh that's good Yorkies are pretty good about stuff like that what are the downsides of a Yorkie uh, of the Yorkies I gotta, I gotta really think about that one. Hmm. Let me think about it. You see her? Hmm. Well, I was interested in those Westies, and then I started reading they had uh, renal failure. Really? Mm -hmm. From from the urine, uh, the urinary tract is hmm. not uh, 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 strong. It's 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 the weakest part of the dog uh, of of that species. I'd come up with a good name. I was going to call it Easty Westy. Easty Westy? <laughs> I'm going to have you come over here and help me in a second. Sure. I'm going to get the camera and look at this thing that's happening here. All right, so there's something that there I want us both to see, I think. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Okay, you guys, look at this dew claw here. Look how it has spun around. How many times do you see, Dad? Do yeah. Do you I see can... how many times it has spun around? One, two, three. Oh wow. Do you see this? I don't. I don't understand. Yes, it, it's making a circle. Yeah, it's curling up. Oh gosh. Look oh. at this. That's all right, so we're gonna get in there and get this nail. We already briefed out on the possibility of just hitting the vein because it's curled around so much, but getting it out of there is pretty, pretty important. Okay, are you, are you ready for this? Because this is gonna be really interesting here. Gosh, man. Do you see what the tool needs to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that curl, man. I don't know that I can get it in there. Need some baby pliers. Okay, ready for, just don't let her bite me. Okay, I'm just gonna go in this way. Oh yeah, great, great. Look at this. That little dot right there, that's the vein. Okay, you missed it so far. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna come around so to take this out right there. So it's not too sharp. Okay, hold on. Bear with me here. I want to push on it a little bit, see. If it's deformed a little bit, maybe that's what the problem is. So when it grows out. Do you see how it grows yeah. out? You know what I mean? Okay. I'm making a bigger deal, but it's good to find out now so that next time we don't have to do all this investigation. We can just know you need to watch that nail more regularly. Okay. It's just a little deformed, okay? Okay. So here we've got a nail that comes straight out like that. You know, you can see mm -hmm. the vein. This one doesn't, it's just missing all that. Okay. It's just, boom, there's the nail, right? Okay. Okay, so look, we got it done. Look, Yay. so excited. Okay, this is awesome. We're, oh, we're zoomed in too much, I think. Stay there, Dad. Look, we got it done and there's no blood. But look how little beady it is. She's always gonna have this nail. All right, 
God, when I groom this dog monthly, his back foot has a deformed paw and it is painful. Touching it is painful. Oh. And so the nail goes, it comes out and goes directly into the pad. Oh. It doesn't even come out for a while. As soon as it's growing out, it just goes growing right under. Oh. And so in a month, in just one month, it's already in the pad, like on the pad. And so he's running around, right? He's missing a one, he's missing like two, two nails, two total pads. He's missing like these two. And then that one's deformed going straight in. So when he's running around, thank goodness he's a little Maltese, you know, he, she's so, she's so comfortable that it's painful. So in a month, he's mad at me when I have to just do a nail trim, you know, because it's painful. Oh, yeah. So at yeah. least here, that thing circled around, but it didn't go into her body, okay. which can. I've pulled him out of the body. Oh my God. You know, so I'm really glad we got that taken care of. That's pretty cool, man. Look. So cool. Okay, good job, Dad. Yep. This is a good hold here. This is what you should do when you have a problem, dog. That's a that's a hold that you do when you have a problem. Dog. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me just keep working here. We're almost Got done. It. Okay. Let me go through. Double check some stuff here. Gonna do. Wow. <laughs> What's funny is I wonder if they did they didn't do a nail trim on that nail. And I don't Obviously know how long. Not. Yeah. I don't know how long. So that means they also didn't know. She she's elderly, the lady, you know. And, the the breeder? Uh-huh. Uh, well I say that she's probably in her sixties. Maybe older. I don't know. Uh, it's kinda hard to say. Give me your driver's license. <laughs> to who? <laughs> the, the breeder. <laughs> when you go there? That's sad. You should be able to. I'm going to tell you a story later why I think that you should be able to do that. Oh, see, I need to tighten this up. I'm going to tighten this back up so you're not looking around too much. Let me see. Can you smell in my scissors? Dan, can you turn off the TV? Oh, sure. Me either. He's watching the news over there. <laughs> Just for recording purposes. He's watching the news before I got here. Wow, man, I do call something else. Let me see here. Let me go with this and this. Here I come. Look over here. Okay, we'll come back for that. How long have you been grooming dogs? I've been grooming since 2003. Wow. And then I opened my business like 2005. I know where you're at. Yeah, you, you pass by all the time. Yeah, I go yeah. to that little car wash just south of Yeah. 
they just got a new ownership there, so they're they're what three or five dollars now, and they give you I, I have chamois on a, and stuff. I have that on a, 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 a I got a, I got a pass. It's a oh yeah yeah yeah. Road. Wait wait wait. They just started the passes in September. Did you get one? No, I've had one before that. Really? Yeah. I've been talking to the guy. The he's a Mexican guy, real nice yeah, guy. The one with the one arm. Yeah 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 yeah. He's got the hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been talking to him and he's been telling me, well, we're going to come out with this pass. It must be a different... He, he said there's a, a few other ways you can get another way to get the pass. Yeah, we, to we, prepay we, or whatever. Yeah, uh, we pay on a monthly basis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. It's like $27 a month. But you can go as many times as you want. With one car. With one car. Yeah. We, we have one for her car and I, I have one for my truck. Let me tell you, man, I was just looking at my cars and I was like, they need to be washed right now. <laughs> They're so dirty. No, it's so dusty on Denton Highway. So much dust travels right there where that semi trucks park. Yeah. Our shop's down on Broadway in Hawking City. What kind of shop? I have a, a commercial roofing company. A what? A commercial roofing company. Uh -huh. You're serious? Yeah. I thought you were retired. No. Wow, this is so cool, man. I'm so, so blessed to meet you. Uh, I'm not ready to retire. This is awesome. So that's why you're able to be here today? Uh-huh. Make this work? Yeah. Well, see, my wife works for me. She takes care of my book. Oh, okay. So she there now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. She goes in at 7.30 and, and she comes home at noon. Very cool. And, uh, in the 30 years I've been doing it, I've never had any money in that whole time. I've got a lot of friends that have. Yes, they have. I can tell you right now, I just helped a lady out. She took over almost two grand. Stole almost two grand out of stuff from me. And I was just helping her. She came to me. She wanted help. And I said, well, you don't have any experience. I can, I can give you a, some training. I can show you some stuff. Yeah, six days, two grand out, man. People are just... And I was helping her. I wasn't looking for her. She found me, and I knew her. I knew her from a different place that I do my uh, wholesaling, where I buy wholesale products. It's so dis disgusting. What uh, shampoo do you recommend? I brought some with me. I'm gonna let you smell it. Do you have shampoo? I wasn't sure. Uh, not. She bought some water with shampoo. Oh, okay. We just okay. have to hold off. And yep, yep. Wait and see what she it. used it already? Uh, I don't think so. So that, I think you said Brevecto or Trifexa something something. Was it a shot or not a pill? What's that? You, on the veterinarian, you were reading it out loud. There was like a trifecta, something, something like a. Was that not a pill? No, you don't have to go look. Do you remember? Were you, did you go or was why? I know she went. Oh yeah, don't don't look because I don't know. Um, you would have to be able to tell me, Dee Dee, they gave her a shot. I'm, I'm curious. Sure they if they did it, give her a shot. I, I, really? I, 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 did we, you come? Did she come home with a box of pills to give her once a month? Uh, I, I, you I don't know. know. It's okay, Dan. <laughs> Let me call her and ask her. No, no, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I was just going to chit chat about it because I wasn't sure if they had that as a pill or a shot. Because usually used, it's a pill. Have you ever used that Dynavite? What is it? It's a vitamins for dogs. No. I, use, I have other things that I've used or sell. Well, they, they claim that it, it will prevent their from getting skin problems. Really? Yeah, it's kind of expensive. It's about 60 a month to use it. But. 60 a month to do what now? They, they, it's called Dynavite. D I O N. Okay. D -I -O -N. And you're doing that? No, I haven't done that. I know. I've just always heard so many commercials for it. Sure, I know. I never heard of it. Gosh. I don't know, man. It'll prevent what now? Oh, it, uh, it, it, it you know how they, they get, uh, uh, their skin gets smelly when they, when they get an infection? Uh-huh, okay. It, it prevents that and it, uh, 
I, I don't know what all it does. I, I really don't. Right, right. Because you never use it or bought it I, and all that anyway. Have. I've just always heard the commercials for it. They say it makes it great. Uh, uh, it's great for their uh, hair. I'm going to tell you, I know for a fact that fish oil is great for their hair. Yeah. Fish so oil. something simple. Omega 3s are good. Not I take it. it. How do you like the haircut so far at the length? Oh, yeah. She's looks good? Yeah. She's I think good. the haircut looks good as far as the length. How long would they take to dry? Should probably air dry right here in the house in like eight minutes. Eight minutes, wow. Yeah, if you don't do the blow dryer. Oh, good. I prefer air dryer. Yeah. It's less stressful. Who is she attached to most? Probably my wife. Really? Not at first, but... Came around? Yeah, uh, well, she's the one that feeds her and waters her. And mm -hmm. She goes, so she she used to just come up and jump over there and sit by me, but now she's got out over getting up, jumping up <laughs> into her chair. Well, the only way to fix that is you start feeding her and stuff. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even take her on the walks. It's hard to pry the dog. <laughs> Man, you got their food and treats. Yeah. Well, really, I, I, I still travel. I, I, oh, do you? Yeah. For work? Uh-huh. Okay. I, in fact, I, I would have left for Houston today. But, but I had to ruin that. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I've got some things I've got to get done before I go. And... Well, it worked out because I'm like two to four weeks out on an oh, appointment. I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm taking a dip. <laughs> I just want to get her started in something, you know. Right. And, Especially if you're going to sleep with your dog, right? Yeah. You need to do something. Well, she's she's in that. She, we've got her in, in her bed on top of our, our our bed. I saw that, but I don't see a lot of room for you. Oh uh, well. Uh, <laughs> uh, at, at, at our age, when I start to snore, she taps me on the arm, and I go into the front bedroom. No, that's my parents for real. It does happen. Yep. More than you think. We just don't talk about it. Well, we start out in the same spot, but. Once I start to snore a little bit, and my I have a sleep number in the front room. And, oh, do you? Yeah. Do you, is it does it work? Oh yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It's not a lie. A what? A lie. <laughs> uh, I put it on sn snore, and it raise, elevates your head just a little bit, and. Uh, and it works. Oh yeah. It helps. Well, I, I don't hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I can't hear myself snore. <laughs> And I, I, I've got a 65 inch TV in there and I go in there and I'll start watching. You ever watch TED Talks? Oh, I love TED Talks. Yeah. It's been a while since I've watched them, but I have watched them over and over. Like, you know, you get that sick day and you just let it go repeat. Man, some of those people are so smart and intelligent. The way they come up with those speeches. Yes. Put everything together. It makes you really think. And, and, and usually around 15 minutes too. You know? Right. heard one last night, the lady said, uh, uh, you, do you know what the word wait uh, uh, is an abbreviation for? Wait, W-A-I-T, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Now, you guys on YouTube listening right now, I'm telling you, couldn't you hang out with Dan? Uh. He's just like, I, I really love his, uh, we got to fix your bangs here, girl. We gotta fix your bangs and then we're out of here. Yeah, the lighting is so much better over here. So again, we need to work on some, some I'm gonna do something else with our head here. I just thought probably the best place to do this would be in that. Oh, over there? There's someone here. Oh. Tell them they're on film.
I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. It's pretty heavy. We want to coach it to go up. If it doesn't work, it's okay. Remember Elvis? His doesn't go up. It's all curly and weird. Okay. But since they wanted that full head looking stuff, you have to start somewhere and coach it and get it there, right? So hopefully we can kind of get that in there like that. I'm using my one guard, which is the wall half inch orange, kind of beige orange. So now this is where we want to be. I just want it to go out. Look how it's done. Remember, come back over here if you need to, right in that. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you look so much what better. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Great. Yeah, she yes. Is. And then we're going to come up. Remember, the hair is different. But we've got it where it needs to be, and I think if we keep coaching it up, it'll come up just like that, and it'll come up higher. Okay. Okay? okay. So I know it's a little different, but her mouth was a little shorter. Yeah. We started with a different base. Yeah. Oh, you grow yeah. out a little bit, I think you'll be right where you want to be. Give it about a week and a half. Okay. It just won't be extremely long, right? It'll be, that yeah. look, it'll be the look you like. And then you can just come in here and do this thing with that if you have that, or you can maybe pick up the, the scissors. It just depends on what your wife might want to do. Okay. Kind of the upkeep. She's the one that'll. Yeah, kind of let her decide. And we have tables at the store. Okay. So the table really is helpful to have control. Tables. I'll tell you offline. Okay. Um, the, t the table, we have it in the store. I only carry a few in the store at a time. Um, but it's so handy. Yes. Because you can do this on the couch. It's just going to be this whole, oh, right? This whole yeah. lay down thing. Yeah. So you can see how much work we can get done if she's oh, yeah. on the table with the groom loop, boom, 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 and then you're done. You do that, you, mama can do that like Sundays every couple weeks, right? Just do upkeep. Well, don't you just look smooth. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, Dan, thanks a lot for having me and letting me do this in your house. Thank do you, you have anything you want to say to the camera before we close it out? Oh, you're right. Bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dan. Are you happy? Yeah. Oh, are you, yeah. Are you happy I came to your house? Yes. Oh, my gosh. You can't beat that. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, y'all, for watching. Come here, sweetie.